previously. I've been practicing acro off and on for about three years now and I learned how to do whips about two and a half years ago, maybe two years ago, from Josh Young. He's a wonderful friend of mine and somebody who was so full of energy. I got really excited about whips. I thought they were really, really fun and I've been practicing them ever since. And about three and a half weeks ago now, I was playing with Glenn Saunders, he's a partner of mine. He and I practiced together consistently for a while and we were getting ready for a performance. And we put a combo of whips in it. And I felt very confident. I taught Glenn how to do whips. We worked on them quite a lot. We'd done them consistently. I'd never really fallen or hit his knees or anything like that. And I felt totally confident doing them with him for a performance. So we were just doing reps and reps of the same combo. And we were on about the fifth round, had had no problems. And somehow, as I was coming through, uh, and maybe our tempo was off, I think I might have been a little late, uh, maybe the foot placement was slightly off, and I hit my head on the front uh, left side on his knee as I came through. And I got a really bad concussion, really bad brain injury. Um, what that's meant is that I've been unable to work now for the last three and a half weeks. Uh, after it first happened, I went to the ER and I really couldn't do anything for the next couple weeks. I couldn't be around sound, music, or light, uh, or talk to people much, and really couldn't function. Didn't, couldn't remember to shower, couldn't read. And I'm still suffering from a number of symptoms from that accident. Uh, I am, though, I've recovered a lot, which is great, and I'm, I'm hoping to start going back to work tomorrow and start with doing some half days, which is exciting. Um, but I wanted to share this with people because I want them to know that this practice has real risks. And I know that I'm not the only one who's gotten concussions from acro, but often I think it isn't talked about. And um, not to say that we shouldn't do acro or that we shouldn't do whips, but I think that move in particular carries high risk. And I think that a number of moves in acro um, carry, carry higher risk than other moves. And so if we're gonna practice them, we really have to recognize that risk and own that risk. And I just want everyone to, to know that um, if I had another really bad concussion, it could really seriously damage my brain for life. So that's a risk we take when we practice. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing acro. I'm, I'm just starting to get back into it. Literally in the last few days, I've been able to, to start moving again, which is really awesome after not having been able to move at all without getting really seriously dizzy or really bad headaches and that kind of thing. So, thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>